Hi everyone, thank you for coming to my presentation. My name is Yi Xuan Zhang. I'm a PhD student from Auditory Press State School, Hanover Medical School, and Cluster of Excellence Hearing for All. Today, I want to introduce our work about 3D computational model framework of the stimulate peripheral auditory system. First, I want to give a short introduction about the cochlear implant. Cochlear implant, short for CI. It's a hearing loss treatment device to restore the hearing ability for profound deaf persons. It has a four compartments, the microphone plus signal processor, the transmitter, receiver stimulator, and also the electrical array, which insert into the cochlea. The core function of the CR are to convert the input sound into a meaningful lecture stimulate pattern and then deliver those patterns to the auditory nerve fibers, which send some information to the brain and produce a hearing sensation. As one of the most successful implants in the world, CI still face some challenges. For instance, the stimulation of CI is not specific because of the large voltage spread inside the cochlea. And secondly, a lot of CI subjects have reported that the CI performance in the noise environment is not that good, which is just to the cocktail party effect. The third uh, aspect of the challenging is called electro nerve interface. One of the most important part for the ENI is the status of auditory nerve fibers, which named as the neural health. The success of CI is highly depends on the health and the function of the auditory nerve fibers. Many studies have reported a significant decrease in neural response for degenerated auditory nerve fibers related to the age or the pathological process, which, like uh, export into really loud noise or take some special medicines. But unfortunately, due to the technical limitation, we are currently unable to directly assess a neural health for auditory nerve fiber in vivo. To address this, those questions and challenges, in our group, we develop, develop a computational model framework as shown as here. And we believe a computational model could help us to understand the mechanisms of electrical stimulation with CIs. And also, use this model could help us to predict auditory nerve fiber excitation with no stimulation model for different implant. Furthermore, a computational model could be used to develop a neural health estimation method. To achieve these goals, we optimize a text geometry from histological human cochlear data with corresponding structure and simplified structures as shown as here. Meanwhile, a simplified model of the commercial CI was inserted into the scalar tympani. The cat geometry was used to run thin element mass simulation to predict the voltage distribution with a special case. One advantage for our model is that our model is allowed a flexible adduction to each individual's cochlea and electrical position. For instance, if we receive a CD data from a special subject, we can measure the geometry parameter of the cochlea and then create an individual cochlea as close as to the subject. And we can insert the cochlear implant CI into different position with the lens that or different type of CI. To further improve our accuracy of the stimulations, a new auditor nerve fiber geometry was created based on the auditor nerve fiber morphology proposed by Kaufman ATAL in 2014 which gives the information about how nodes distribute in one single fiber, as shown as the figure here. And those nodes play a crucial role for neural response transmissions. For our auditor nerve fiber geometry, it has a 30,000 fiber close to our cat geometry shape, which covering a frequency range from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. By combining the voltage distribution and auditory nerve fiber geometry, we could easily determine the voltage distribution on each node when one actual was stimulated. And those data could be used to predict 
what, uh, voltage distribution on the node and how this voltage be used to uh, generate excitation profile of auditor nerve fibers. Meanwhile, use the auditor nerve fiber geometry, we, we easily modify the nerve health. Give, uh, for example, in the left, we have really healthy auditor nerve fibers, but on the right side, we could control the auditor nerve fiber geometry that lose all the nodes as a peripheral process of the auditor nerve fibers. Okay, uh, as a common electrophysiological measurement for CI, Electrical evoke compound action potential, ECA. Measurement has been seen as a very potential measurement of the neural health estimation. The ECA is actually represent a synchronized response generated by a group of electrical activated auditor nerve fibers, which means uh, ECAPs are actually the summary of the multiple neural spike by sending a stimuli to one electrode and recording the response from the fiber at the other electrodes, which reflecting the neural synchronization under electrode stimulations. Typical e cup has a negative and a positive peak as shown in the figure left. And such amplitude between the peaks could be displayed as a function of stimulate current as shown in the same figures, which is named as amplitude growth function. Since e cup is the response from the auditor nerve fiber itself, many studies have suggested that uh, by comparing the amplitude goods function with different stimuli, for instance, different interface gap, could, uh, could estimate the neural health. So one advantage for our model is that we can use our model to predict the amplitude goods function in different neural health conditions as soon as here. And the left one is fully healthy auditory nerve fiber and the right one is fully degenerated peripheral processed uh, auditory nerve fibers. The uh, e-couple form is totally different. So till now, I just give a, a brief introduction to our 3D computational model with the uh, e-couple things. So if you're more interested for more studies about our group, please go to the presentation uh, ID35, which also give our group members. So till now, I will I give a short summary for our models that our models are capable to improve our understanding of nuclear stimulations and also could be used to predict neural health by using the e cup or any other uh, measurement. So till now, I will close my presentation. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please contact me.